Start first with the review of today's front pages. We'll start with the nation. Naira crisis has brought hunger and anger, says Sultan. Lagos begins test run of blue light rail. <laughs> DSS releases, no, quizzes and releases Fanny Coyote. Turkey, Syria, earthquakes, 37,000 dead and 90,000 injured. Naira policy has Supreme Court's ruling been complied with. Tinubu vows to translate coal mining oil to prosperity and why polls won't hold in 240 units, says INEC. Okay, which story are we starting with in Nation? Okay, so yeah, the major headline, the Sultan yesterday in Abuja at a two-day conference, two conference organized by the Kano State Government on livestock reforms and mitigation of associated conflicts just derailed the entire conversation from the big, big grammar. So the professor had finished speaking and he said, okay, now that we are done speaking, all this big English, can it translate to easy life for the common man, the mm -hmm. farmer in the farm? This Naira issue is becoming, making life unbearable for people. People can feed. Can we translate all this yeah. big English to, you know, a better life for the easy man? And then he emphasized the hardship that is on ground again okay. based on this yeah. Naira issue. And, you know, it referred to also, the, the, in the article, they referred also to the federal government not, uh, you know, pronouncing anything based on the Supreme yes. Court judgment that they had, in the, the interim judgment that they had gotten, even though it is interim. Let's not even say the federal government. Should, Buhari said seven days. Mm -hmm. It has elapsed. We haven't heard anything. But even then, there's a, federal, there's a Supreme Court order. Yeah. All the things, you should give an order to allow businesses to, right. you know, to take. Now, businesses are afraid, so they follow the uh, uh, February 10th, uh, deadline, deadline that the CBN yeah. originally given. Yesterday, banks were refusing to receive notes. I got reports people bringing back old notes. Yeah. For, you know, banks were refusing to accept them. Businesses are now saying, no, don't spend this here. Whereas the Supreme Court <coughs> order, you have not directed for that, you are refusing to say anything. Yeah. And, you know, it is just I, I just want to join voice with this horrible situation. Sultan to say something um, has to be done. We have also complained about the um, grazing. Yes. And that the land belongs to, to God, not to God to and God, not, not the, governors. The, the governors. They have eight years. He said he's been to Benue twice to talk to the governor and the traditional rulers and look at it. Nothing was done about it. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. here today. Yeah. I mean, following the Turkey like, story, really painful. So about 37,000 dead. The death toll has increased to 37,000. Wow. About 90,000 have been injured. And one of the really, really most heartbreaking stories was the rescue of Mireille. She's a, a six-year-old girl who's been under the rubble for a week. Mm -hmm. And she was rescued yesterday on a stretcher. And they were so excited. The rescuers were so happy to bring her out. And then also a 13-year-old young man, his name was Khan. He was also underneath the rubble, was rescued. The possibility of getting more rescue or more... Um, um, more um, people alive is very slim, and they're about to going to. They're going to. They're likely to stop the rescue mission very soon. They are thinking they might have the death toll might rise up to fifty five thousand. But according to the rescuers, they were able to see a mother, a grandmother, mother and daughter under the rubble, and one other person from their thermal camera, so they could see heat. Hmm. But they've been trying to reach those, those people, but they're, they're not sure if they're still alive. But the fact, the fact that they're still heat, they knew that there were human beings there and they're working hard to get those guys. Once they get these guys, there might be no other rescue missions because like, that's pretty much the end. Mm -hmm. But it's really painful to know that at least 37 people, 37,000 people have died under that rubble. So painful. So the Lagos state government uh, yesterday began the test run of the 13 kilometer Lagos Blue Line uh, rail service train. So a lot of Nigerians comprising from the seasoned academia, top government functionaries, reporters, University of Lagos lecturers, their students, heads of agencies under different ministries, Ministry of Transportation, among others, were available to witness the launch of the train at the Marina train station, Lagos. So leading the inauguration of the train service, uh, the managing director of the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transportation Authority, Lamata, Mrs. Abimbola Akinajo, was there, and he said the test run will be carried out every uh, Two weekly. So test run will be carried out twice weekly over the next two months. And Lagosians from all walks of life are, you know, invited to come and have a test run of this. So very soon they are going to be sending out emails. They will advise the public to send their email addresses so that they can send you an invite to come yeah. and test. test yeah, and test and see what it, how it works. And they said the capacity 
to accommodate a surge when commercial operation starts is about um, 250 passengers every minute and the schedule will have a train position to run every three minutes and they will just keep expanding as we have more people come in so it's yeah. like Nima said it would be good that we we'll go out there and experience yeah. it yeah. How it yeah I just wanted to quickly take the 240 there will be no pause in 240 um, polling units they, ha they have, um, elections will take place in 176,606, but these 240 will not take place because they don't have registered voters. Mm, in, that, in, the, in those in areas. Those 240, yeah. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Moving quickly now to the punch. <clears throat> Naira deadline, banks, fuel stations reject old notes and ignore Supreme Court's order. Buhari launches security equipment, wants police against <clears throat> politics. <clears throat> Excuse me. AK-47 bearing pastor arrested. Policeman faces probe and church apologizes. Bridge Data Bureau probes 110 companies. Whitney protesters besiege Chrisland as government orders inquest. <clears throat> I regret raising cool alarm, says Fanny Coyote. Atiku Rivers rally cancelled to prevent death, says PDP. Share love on Val's Day, not HIV, says Naka. And North will benefit greatly from coal money, oil food, says Tinubu. Which story are we starting with? In uh, major March? headline. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so just um, in addition to what the Sultan has said, a lot of banks are rejecting uh, the old Naira notes. Um, there are a lot of POS vendors who go to the banks to deposit the notes and the banks are rejecting it. They are not saying anything to them. The only thing they are telling them is that the CBN has given them an order not to collect this money from them. So a lot of businesses are stranded at the moment. Even uh, yesterday in the papers, it was mentioned that most hospitals as well are not collecting you know, cash from their uh, customers and so a lot of people are dying people are not able to access medical treatment because nobody's collecting money in the papers also today was mentioned that lawyers were not able to also you know pass on their uh, litigations because they were not able to pay for with using cash right now nobody is taking money and everyone is stranded yesterday the cbn governor had a meeting with the president uh, it was expected that he would come out and you know say what has happened or what uh, will be the way forward but he snuck away from the meeting without saying anything to nigerians through the side everybody gates. yeah through the side gate yes yeah. and people are still expecting i think there's um the court order is supposed to start i think tomorrow which is wednesday People are still hoping that at least somebody should say something. Yeah. Should we still keep, you know, using this money along with the new money, or how do we do it? Nobody's saying anything. But about I have to go said that the order subsists and that the two notes, you together. know, continue to uh, well, operate banks are not alongside each other. That's yes. what the court order yes. means. So whether they like, they should see. So there's a story. Um, YK, you want to take a story? Point. Oh yeah, um, the AK-47 building uh, pastor. Uh, wasn't wielding it, he was just carrying it. They carry it. him, they are wielding. This one, yeah, they are wielding. Use of language. Seven carrying it, pastor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, uh, anyone you like. <laughs> the, uh, anyway, he, the, the police, the Federal Capital Territory Police Command, have confirmed the arrest of him. His name is Uche Aigbe. For the, this is the paper talking, not me, for wielding an AK-47 rifle is a while addressing the congregation. Mm, I read them, no I'm not talking. Okay. I read them, I wish I read them. <laughs> and he said they have also arrested the chief security officer of the church wow. and an inspector, Musa Audu, for releasing his gun to Aigbe. They said his message was, he said that, th these were his words, while... Um, It says, oh, sorry. Today, some pastors with... No, 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 no. This, that's not where I want to read. Anyway, he said that... <laughs> anyway, the church has responded. What did the church And they said that, um, regrettably, thank God it was not loaded. And he was saying that they regret the fact that it was a, was a, was a wrong decision for him to do such. And they apologize for the circumstances. And they're going to support the law. Abide, uh, their law abiding citizens. They also said he was a good pastor. He's a good man, yes. He's a and good man. A lot of and good men. they said, when he, he, I have to read it, that when he mounted the pulpit with the AK-47 rifle and addressed the con congregation, saying he was ready for people looking for his trouble. Ah. Today, there are some pastors with the gift of divination who go about ripping people. This is why we should carry our guns and defend ourselves. Very I will be particularly uh, uh, uh. coming for some of you sleeping in the church. Well, so I don't think he was inside. Uh, no. That, that because, was, no, he was not want to shoot. Well, intention, in the intention. Yeah. intention. Was to teach. They are different. He was trying to teach. He yeah. wasn't trying to. And he if was... an imam in the north 
wearing a turban, mm. carries a gun, and makes a very, very plain preaching, it will be inciting just by his appearance. Mm. Because we have a mindset around it. Yeah. And now somebody says that I am ready for you people. And he was wielding a gun. And that I'm coming for you people. They say it was ready for his church members that, that are same sleeping thing, you know, in no the church how, now. Because you know, because I, you. I just want us to be very objective mm. whenever we apply these rules so that everybody yeah. covers everybody. Both sides. But the police is handling it, right? So he's been arrested uh -huh. and so even the young man that gave him the gun has been arrested. But, but the police is, officer who said his gun was empty. Yeah. The, in the law, nobody knows whether a gun is loaded. So the point you made for is important rest. because for society to develop, we must be able to see things on all sides. If we're a country, we must see, seeing from this lens, seeing from that lens, and see how Balance. people see and perceive things. It's really important. I, so we must understand that. In particular, saw it as a threat. Okay, I didn't see that. It was threat. an overzealous person. Because I just saw somebody on the, holding a gun. We are still reviewing it. We, let's discuss it later. We are still okay. reviewing papers. Okay. We are still in punch. Femi Fanikayode yesterday was invited. Ah, you took Femi Fanikayode. I took the story thinking that you okay, never take no, the story. I, I no, 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 take no, it. Let me believe I have other stories. Ah, I was like, you, you never take Okay, so yesterday, um, the Attorney General of Lagos State has invoked um, the Corona's law, Section 14 and 15, and started an inquest into the death of Whitney Adeniron, who right. we had on the show yesterday, and he has ordered that Lagos State will not spare anything to get to the bottom of this, that the rule must be followed. Yes, yes, <coughs> some people led protests to the school because Lagos State had, shot, had ordered the school to close, to be shut down, and the rumors started that they were having classes in school. I just think that at this time, the rule should be followed so that they, we can avert any Right. Form of unrest in I any watched way. a video where and also they, sympathetic as parents. Where they were attacking the school, not attacking, but you know, Protesting. verbally saying, You can't Charging. open. And the guy was saying, It's a house. This is a, also a residence. Yeah. Mm. You know, Charging. are you saying? They said, right. No. Ah, it was serious. So. Let's, uh, I was going to take the story on Fanny Kayode. So the minister, the former minister of aviation, Fanny Kayode, as many of you know, was the was called in for questioning by the DSS yesterday, uh, where he admitted. Um, to maybe he could have been more circumspect in, what, in his utterances. Mm. If you recall, DSS had invited him when he had put out some tweets alleging that some military officers met with the presidential candidate of the PDP, that's Atiku Mbako, with a plan to carry out a coup. So DSS called him, ah, Mbo, please, how did it happen? So after questioning, saying so obviously it was a bit, was a bit, um, um, we said it was sober looking. Was being reckless. Was okay, reckless. Being reckless when okay. he let, that's why I, that's let out that tweet. That's why I wanted to take this. They wanted to tell us it was being reckless. He said, he said he but was he was sober in. looking mm -hmm. and told journalists that he could have been more circumspect and handled the things differently if he had known better. He had gotten more information or make a few calls to the military to verify exactly what happened, that, that, that what he did was wrong. He, he apologized. He also left to the DSS if they want to charge him to call yes. or, or, further, or take any further action on this. But that he's very he's sorry, he apologized. Yeah. So I like I think the DSS should be inviting people like that who want to run that country. You make in reckless, such a reckless tweet. Did you you didn't even read the tweet out? Read I will move on tweet. to the next. Did you? Ah. Next, we can't read. Let's don't read it out. We want to get ah. more inciting. Should we move on to the Daily Sun? Yes, please. INEC excludes two forty polling units. Why took that story? <laughs> IGP accuses Odudua Nation agitators and IPOP of elect of election disruption plot. CSOs continue protests against EFCC chair in Lagos. <clears throat> Insecurity elections will hold in the southeast and others pledge CDS. Polls attacking non indigenous others in Lagos. Other states won't help APC, says Atiku. Family of five in Lagos, Badagri Expressway also crash. And reverse purchase of Kidney Island, OML 11, irreversible court sales, SPDC. Okay, which story are we taking? Um, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, the five, a member, a fam, five members of a family, the mother, the father, and the three boys were coming from Agbara and they ran into a stationary um, trailer mm. and killed all, all five of them. By the time they rushed all of them to the hospital, the they were all dead. They were, um, it was um, very sad. The, the, um, they said this, this happens a lot because the trucks break down on that route, no, they and they don't have uh, towing, towing Apart from vehicles. towing, they don't even have these lights that you know. They don't have anything now. They are trucks. Even when they are moving, do they have? Okay. Even when they are moving, they, they, they uh, drive into them. You know, so they, they, they pour. Okay. So they should, somebody must have the trucks drive at 
um, normal international standards. Yes. Because of the possibility of them killing, wiping out a family like this. They must have what they need. Street lights are very important. Oh, street lights street 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 are important. Are important. But the, where, where are the this hazard lights? lights? A signal something that is always on the trucks. Yes. So that when you uh, when they are the highlights. Yes. Yes. You, yes. you when you approach there. them, you know something yeah. is there. You know, even when they are coming at you, they don't. Some of them will have only one light. They are supposed to have lights around yeah. so oh, that you yeah. can see the size yeah. of the but truck. But you think it's a bike coming? Yeah. Yes. One light. You think it's a bike? Until you not get because you realize uh, it's a truck. It's a truck. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So Atiku Okowa campaign organization has said the alleged resort to violent attacks against Nigerians by. All Progressive Congress, that's the APC, will not help the party in the February 25th presidential election. Uh, the statement was made by spokesperson Kola Olubondiyo, and he described the alleged attack as inexcusable act of cowardice. He also said that um, rather than they accept that Nigerians have rejected them, they are now going around attacking innocent Nigerians. And this is not, uh, this is just a clear purpose of instilling fear in Nigerians and foisting a siege mentality so that people are not able to come out and vote safely. And this is not acceptable. So um, it's been happening. We see that there are rallies and people are attacking. I think the government should sit on it and enforce the fact that anybody who is attacked will be fished out and dealt with from whoever or whatever party you. We should have a free and fair election this time around. Okay, so okay. I was going to take the story on um, Odudua Nation. So the Inspector General of Police, uh, Usman Al-Khalibaba, has said that um, the Odudua Nation agitators have been amassing weapons and mobilizing resources towards disrupting the peace, security, and electoral process in the southwest, the same as also in the southeast. According to him, um, IPOP also is planning, they're also mobilizing their resources towards disrupting the peace, security, and for the electoral process in the southwest geopolitical zone. Again, according to them, the elections will hold, but because they know of their, of their plans, they're definitely going to do everything to forestall this um, this plot to disrupt the forthcoming. I wanted to take Shell Petroleum and the, and the River State government. So the courts insist yesterday in River State that it's another high court insists that the sale via auction to River State government of the Shell assets and the properties um, comprising the Kidney Island base for Tarkot and all the interest in the land is now is the property of um, River State government because according to the judge Adolfo Senebeli says once. It is explicit that once assets are sold through public auction, ordered by the court, pursuant to a court judgment, the sale is not challenged, and the sale is not challenged within 21 days. Um, such sale, because the property becomes absolutely irreversible and indivisible, the, uh, the property of the purchaser. So now, River State government had gone and purchased all assets that Shell owned in the Kidney Island via after a court order that ordered it to be sold by auction, and the, uh, Shell did not act on time. So now they are in court trying to get the property, and the court is saying it's too late. So we are good. Okay, that's all we can take on front page review today. When we come back, move on to our hot topic of the day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>